capital sits on the ancestral homeland of the Nisqually and Squaxin Island tribes. Today, a ritual of the present resumed here. It is so good to see this floor full again. Conducting the people's business in person. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties. Representative Charlotte Mena is one of 43 new members to join the House of Representatives, the most diverse body in state history. It makes me excited and a little scared. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. It's very exciting to start the session. Her first bill was one of the first to get a hearing this session. Essentially, we're talking about things that there is no safe amount to be putting on your face. It would prohibit the sale or manufacture of cosmetics containing toxic ingredients. These are products that are often especially targeted to women of color, like hair straighteners and so on. So this is a bill that is very meaningful to me, and it's very meaningful that it gets me my first bill on the first day of session. Another topic on the radar for many legislators, where to put a new airport. SeaTac cannot handle the region's growth, and a recent study identified three potential sites in rural Pierce and Thurston counties firing up neighbors. When you have this kind of pushback from the communities, I get it. Representative Tom Dent says the study was not thorough enough because it was done during the pandemic in the days of all online public meetings. A lot of the folks that are pushing back right now aren't the people that get up every morning and turn their computer on, right? Those are just two of several hundred topics that will come up for debate in the coming months. Most of the bills that end up getting introduced end up dying. The only issue that lawmakers are required by the state's constitution to deal with is to pass a new two-year budget. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.